Hello, my name is Tedius Bamasika. Today I'm going to show you on how to use a simple powerful tool to assist you to display calculated data from a table or a query to the form into a particular text box. I have two tables, I have staff members and departments. I want to have a form with a text box that displays how many staff members are there in a certain department. First, I'll make a query to group all members by the departments and two, I'll use a powerful tool DLOOKUP to bring the data to the text box. DLOOKUP function can find and bring back any single data from any record in a table or a query so you do not have to draw a whole query of the form as a subform. Actually DLOOKUP will reduce your work by 5% and it is compatible to all the database management systems you can find. Okay, we can now start. I'll open up my access and as you can see I have the two tables ready. First I have the departments which has a department ID and uh, the department name. The department ID and department name. And then I have the members table that has a staff name, contacts, staff department. Now this staff department is actually getting its data from the department's table as you can see here this is using a simple procedure whereby I when you open in design view at the staff department I used a lookup wizard to get me the data from the other table it's a simple way of making relationships okay now what we want to start here like we said the first option will be to make a query that is going to group all these members according to their departments. What I mean is that uh, James comes from the marketing department, Ken comes from the IT department, while we have Alice, Anne and Janet from the accounts department. So I actually want a query that will tell me that in the accounts department we have three people. On the IT department we have one person, we have another one person in the marketing department and one other one at the admin department. That's the kind of grouping that I want. So we are going to make a query with that. I'll go to create and I'm not going to use wizard because I want you to understand how simple it is. So I'm going to use a design view. I'll put in both tables, department and members by double clicking on them. As you can see they already have a relationship between them because this staff department is getting its data from this other table. So because this is what we want to group by, I'm going to put their department ID and department name. This one I'm doing that by just simply double clicking on the data and then it comes down here. But now on the members, I actually do not want to see the members. Like right now, if I change my view, you will see that all the departments are there, but some of them are repeating. Why are they repeating? They are repeating because on each of these departments we have a staff member. So like if I use this staff name here, you will understand that they are repeating because we have Alice, Anne and Janet on the same account. So we don't want to show the staff name because it will make this to repeat. So what do we do? We come to get the totals. That is when we come up here and select totals. All the fields will be given a group by. But remember, we don't want them to repeat. The reason why these two are repeating is because of this staff name. So instead of group by, I'll change that to count. Why am I using count? Because I want to count the staff members in the department. So when I get back to this view, instead of having three accounts, it will show you account and there will be a total of staff name which is equals to three. Admin is one, marketing is one, IT is three. We can confirm that when you open up the members table, we'll see that at the accounts we have three people and on our query we actually have three people here. On admin we have one person, Mary alone, same to marketing and IT and that is what is showing here, marketing one and IT one. So up to there our query is working perfect. But this name, count of staff name, is rather too long. 
what we are going to do, we are going to put a caption. When dealing with queries and you want to put a caption, you simply write it like I'll use the word count, as you can see there, and then put the colon. The colon tells the computer that anything on the left is actually a caption. So when I change the view, you'll see it as written count. And this is exactly the query we want. A query that is going to group all the members, all the staff members, according to their department. So I'm going to save this query, yes, and give it a good name like query uh, department, sorry, department count. Then I say OK. As you can see, our query is here and it's working perfect.